and our CNNI bin exclusive report that security forces need to keep a watch out for. Maoists along the Red Corridor are not just getting arms from Northeast insurgent groups, but also on the spot help. Shimon Chakrabarti reports from Chagram. <laughs> Maoist camps on the Charkhan Bengal border. From these camps, Maoists are launching one attack after another, increasing the area they control in India, the Red Corridor. CNN IBN has now learned that at least 7,000 armed Maoists have spread out across the West Midnapur, Purulia, and Bankura districts in West Bengal, along with East Singhbhum in Jharkhand. In Bengal, they are being assisted by 50 hardcore rebels from Manipur's insurgent group People's Liberation Army who are training tribal villagers living inside these forests to fight with the joint forces operating here in Jhargram. Sources have told CNN and IBN that just two months back, the Maoists have acquired more weapons from illegal arms suppliers in Southeast Asia originally meant for the now decimated LTTE in Sri Lanka. The arms were supplied by an elaborate network run in northeast India by the Naga insurgent group NSC and IM. The arms were smuggled in through two routes, Burma and Bangladesh. The arms include 850 AK-47 rifles, 4,000 small weapons and several hundred grenades. They also include cheaper Chinese copies of weapons such as the American M16 rifles and Russian Kalashnikovs. Maoists are also trying to establish links with the Alpha. They want Alpha to supply arms from the Yunnan province of southern China. Clearly, the Maoists are preparing for a new surge. This time, their target is West Bengal. And their increased alliances with the Northeast Indian insurgent groups will make it more difficult for the security forces to fight the Red Terror. In Chargram, with Devashish Nandi, Shuman Chakraborty.